Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of the Concept Guy. And in this video, we will talk about the logical operations in DWSIM. So, what are all these? Okay, why are these even there in the flow sheet and DWSIM? So, when you go over your mouse over each of them, you will find that they have a particular task to operate. Okay, so you can also go to the help and to the documentation in the user guide. You will find all of this given in some detail. Okay, uh, let me find. Yes, here it is. So the this is recycle, the edges, energy recycle, and the specification. These all are already given, but yes, uh, reading the text seems a little bit of confusing and it's a little complicated to follow and know about how to use them so today in this video I'm going to demonstrate how we can actually use all of these logical operations and what are their functions basically starting with the recycle material balance block so this will actually recycle the material streams okay the blue ones are the material stream and the yellow ones are the energy streams so this uh, yellow one is energy recycle block it will recycle the energy like the energy that we want to like we have generated some energy from some process and we want to recycle it to some earlier process that has uh, has a input requirement of energy basically same is for this material stream that we want to recycle some material from one part of the flow sheet to the other part where the recycle needs to take place okay to maybe you use the uh, increase the yield or for anything that's uh, up to the flow sheet uh, actually so basically what the recycle does that because this is a steady state simulation so what this recycle block does that let me show you it through paint okay so first let me consider my system okay this is my system my flow sheet okay uh, the main unit operations and let's take the in and out okay so let me take this is my in feed and let's take a different color uh, this would be my out okay so this that's feed and that's the outlet now in general case in general very general case what we can say here is that uh, my feed let's say let's assume a value my feed has five uh, five kilomole per hour okay and my exit is coming at uh, let's say six okay let's just assume some values to help you understand it okay and and then let me put it down yes so now what we can visualize here is that 5 is coming and 6 is going out and let's say we have we have initially a low value 5 okay and then after we put a recycle after we put a recycle here okay back we will get some extra quantity okay so like 6 was coming out and let's say we recycle here 1 and 5 goes out okay then we will have this extra quantity 1 here so one will co also come here so now the total field is six now six is input and based on that a different output will come okay let me rub this and now what happens that six is input and according to that let's say let's assume okay this is not uh, gen this is a general representation so i can make you actually see what actually happens so now let's say it's seven okay is coming out again one now one that was going out has become now 1.5 okay and so let let it be okay let's take you know, easy numbers uh, so one uh, now it has become two okay so seven minus two that is five right so again what happens is that the recycle has become two so the recycle initial value was let's say value one was initially it was zero so value not value zero was zero this is the recycle values value one was one value two is two okay again it and now the feed the total is seven okay so again this will change 
again now the feed is 7 and hence again corresponding to this my system will give me a different output let's say 8 okay this is just an example but uh, it kind of works like the same way uh, let me write 8 here so 8 comes here and now if 3 goes out then the value of the recycle will become 3 and hence this value will actually change again and again and again till it uh, this was 1 this was 2 uh, this is 3 and which is 3 so these values are actually increasing and it finally attains a steady state value okay so finally the recycle value okay it will not increase 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 there was there will be a, a particular value like after that it increases 3.5 then it goes to 3.51 then 3.519 and so it, it finally attains a value say 3.6 okay and it stays there then the recycle block actually gives me uh, a okay signal that yes it's correct the recycle has converged because after now the value isn't changing much so that's how uh, i hope you got it through this kind of figure because in dw same uh, this would be a really confusing thing that what it is actually doing okay uh, the in and out is coming what is why are these iterations required what is this tolerance values and current errors so this is the in should be equal to out as near to as the out okay and uh, initially the recycle stream we saw initially it was zero which is why this recycle block will help fix me the errors and as the recycle comes here the different quantity will go out and in a similar way this was for mass so in a similar way the energy recycle stream actually helped me to fix energy recycle errors next move, moving on to the adjust unit operation uh, uh sorry unit not unit operation it is a logical operation because uh, the logic is in, involved here the variable is involved here so adjust as we have discussed all of this how we do it so i have made a video earlier on sensitivity analysis in dw sim and the optimization so there we can actually use adjust and we can actually the main purpose of this is to manipulate a property okay and to help it to control a different property okay and here the property be a parameter or a variable so one variable will be changed in order to control a different variable okay and it has also a tolerance limit and a set point okay like the set point we give it so that's what we have discussed so do check out the video with the adjust logical operation you will get to know that easily over there finally we have this uh, specification block okay and this seems kind of uh, till now it's it's really not much useful but yes in some cases it can be really useful like let me first delete my recycle block and put the uh, specific specification block over here so what does it do so if you hover your mouse it says that it defines a def dependent variable okay a dependent variable like this thing depends okay this thing depends on what okay uh, or let's say this uh, let's say this is my dependent dependent uh, so this is my dependent stream and this is my source stream so our this may not be uh, always a stream it could be a unit operation as well. uh, but for this simplification i'm taking a video two stream and this is a specific specification block so what does it does is it defines a dependent variable object so it defines a dependent variable okay of from the object by using a source okay from other source so it will see the source and it will define the dependent variable according to a to an expression that we give it to the specification block now you would find it a little tricky that if a flow sheet is 
but running fine without this then why do we really need this okay so the need is actually when you have some kind of expression relating two different parameters and in simulation we really do uh, have that kind of things but uh, in the initial stages of simulation i would say uh, this would not be much helpful because uh, most of the times we don't know this dependency expression and hence it might not work well. okay so let's say my source object is my source and the property be anything so there are hundreds of properties so many properties and you can take any of these let's say pressure and the source value has come okay uh, because i have not changed it so it is uh, atmospheric pressure and let's say my target object is my dependent okay this is my target so there is a link between my dependent and source so the source value here is denoted by x and the target value here is denoted by y so and the target property now the pressure of this the pressure of the source will have an influence on this and what's that influence uh, influence on let's say the pressure of this okay the pressure of source will do, uh, actually uh, specify the pressure of dependent variable and both pressures are same because uh, this is actually generalized I have not changed it uh, one second uh, I have not changed it but uh, the pressure the pressure here is dependent over the pressure of the source okay uh, that's the general case I've taken uh, or you can actually take any and there might be some relation okay uh, in terms of X because now this Y the target value y will depend on the on the value of x let's say 100 times x okay uh, so this gives me a value uh, that the y we currently have and after solving the flow sheet then it will uh, you have to go to the specification block and you need to debug the object so function not implemented because yet uh, yes i have not run the flow sheet and the uh, expression seems to be weird so here i'm just telling you that you need to actually put in the expression that is valid of course and check what's the value of the dependent variable and how it would be actually affected by the source so that's all for this video guys please do check out my dw sync videos earlier made and the playlist too and do subscribe to the channel and show your love and support thank you